Hello all, I'm Deborah Quetelow and I'm an e-learning consultant with Innovation. I have a particular interest in creating great user experiences, so the new look Moodle Workplace 4.0 is very exciting to see. We did a webinar recently on Moodle 4.0 and I'm happy to report that all the new features there have been transferred to Workplace 4, as well as many more. The Moodle community has again been a driving force behind the continual improvements with the end user experience always in mind. There are four broad areas to highlight today. Fresh look and feel for the UI, enhanced navigation, improved activities, new features for managers. So let's take a look at what's in store. The most obvious change is the interface. Throughout the site, the most commonly used items are displayed prominently through tab navigation and the new visual styling is responsive and mirrored across all devices as well as the matching app. Users can be first presented with a user tour on their dashboard or action board, which boasts a few new block options. Logged in user, in progress courses and new available courses are favorites here. If a user is working through a program where courses must be completed in order, they will appear in the new available courses as they are unlocked. Both the in-progress courses and new available courses make it easier for employees to prioritize their learning. As we can see here, dashboards can be customized per tenant to match not only each tenant's branding, but also their specific learning focus points. Not only that, but custom pages can also be created and made available globally or restricted to a single tenant or to a selected audience only. Here we can see a custom page designed for inter-office communication. Site administrators can create global custom pages, while if we take a look at a tenant administrator view, we can see how to create custom pages for our own members. We can select our blocks, including the fully customizable HTML or text block. We must first turn edit mode on, and then we see the option to choose blocks to add to our page. We see a large list of blocks available to us. And then we can select the audience for which we would like to make this page available. The separate My Courses page displays all an employee's learning, including enrolled, available or past courses. Progress is clearly displayed as well as learning paths. All courses within programs are linked so both managers and employees can easily navigate. Here we can see an example program with clear completion instructions and course progress. If we take a look at a program with a linked certification, this information is also clearly displayed. This new look and clear navigation carries through to the courses themselves as well. We can see the commonly used items at the top of the course, making it easy for learners to see their grades and trainers to manage their courses and activities. As we scroll down the course, we notice that the course index scrolls as well. Equally, we can see our completion progress both in the main course area and the course index. This course index is always available so users can easily navigate between activities. Trainers can use this course index to drag and drop items around for quick course editing. On the right hand side, we can see an expandable panel with our chosen course blocks. If we view the same course as a trainer, we can see the new, more intuitive course layout when we toggle edit mode. We see easy access to reports at the top and add activity or resource and add topic links in every section of the course. There are a few edits to the activities themselves too. In the assignment, we can now add instructions that are displayed on the edit or submit page so not before an assignment is open to submissions. Big Blue Button is now a core activity and has various settings available, such as disable microphones or hide user list. Here we see a welcome message can be added and the various disable options. A big improvement for me is the quiz question bank. You can now have status options, so questions can be left as draft until they are ready to be used 
This is a perfect example of how the new navigation makes it easier to find items in the activity admin menus. Questions can be updated with question versioning. Comments can be added, which is very handy when more than one person is working on a question bank. Then there are some very handy statistics. We can see how easy a question is based on how well it's answered in comparison to how well the learner did overall in the quiz. We will now take a look at the new features designed especially for managers. There is a sleek new My Teams page where managers can get a complete overview of their team members' progress. The new report builder has some nice improvements. The program's report in particular can now display the courses that make up the learning path and these can be linked. The audience permissions have improved too. Users can be given viewing permission manually by system role, by management role for example. As you can see, the main focus for this version of Moodle Workplace was the user experience on all sides. From the new dashboard presentation to the course management reorganization, we find that everything is suddenly so much simpler to find and do. If you would like to learn more about Workplace or indeed would like to learn about any of the products and services we offer at Innovation, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.